Hey guys, it's Ben, Pro Side Coach here in Texas. I've got my uh, casual Friday outfit on today. Um, just a real quick video this week um, about uh, about justice and about how in family law uh, you get as much justice as you can afford. So what that means is that you know I, 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 people I, you know as you guys know I spend all day every day on the phone um, and. As these people explain their stories to me, I say, wait, 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 why didn't you do this legally? Why didn't you file this motion? That's obvious. Why didn't you do that? Oh, well, the, my attorney told me we shouldn't do that. What the attorney is telling you is you can't afford it. You can't afford it. I mean, I get it three times a week. You know, well, my, my ex withheld the children for six months. Why didn't you file a motion to enforce? Oh, my attorney said we should wait. You're only going to get as much justice as you can afford. There's a myriad of tools and mechanisms at your disposal to accomplish the goals that you have. And invariably, you know, look, I'm not rich. You're probably not rich. I mean, maybe you are. But, you know, there's only so much money you can throw at these family law cases. My first call this morning was a young lady. She was $35,000 in the hole. And they had accomplished one thing. They filed for divorce. That's it. Nothing else. No temporary orders. No possession and access orders. No child support. Nothing. They filed for divorce. $35,000. All that happened is that the lawyers argued back and forth, you know, the ex, they were trying to work out like a possession and access schedule on their own. Then the ex withheld for months and months and months. And then they yelled at each other a bunch more, meaning the lawyers are, and all this, this poor girl is paying for this. And then ultimately, you know, things simmer down. And then she finally, the light bulb goes on and she goes, man, this sucks. What am I paying for? Nothing's happening. I'm just throwing money in a bucket. And nothing's going on. This is normal. This is how the game works. Guys, when your pro say your ex falls out of line, you file a motion to enforce. It costs you about $30 for a filing fee. That's it. 30 bucks. It will take you an hour and a half to do the document, if that. File it. Get in there. Go to court. Smack them upside the head. We will stop that bad behavior. Okay? And then they fall out of line on something else. You do it again. You can ask for sanctions, make them start having financial penalties. You can modify things that are not working. Take them, take them, take them to court, take them to court, take them to court. That's what we have to do to get people to cooperate and play ball. I mean, don't take people to court just to be pissy with them. But if you've got a legitimate issue that needs to be addressed, don't ask a lawyer who's going to look you up and down and go, eh, you probably can't afford to do all these things that you want to do. And that's how the game works, guys. So, that's what I say. Ten times a week. I swear on a stack of Bibles that if you are a pro set, you will end up at the same place or better uh, in your you know, family law case uh, than if you had a lawyer. The same or definitely better. You're not, you know, they try to scare you and you read things online, you know, well, if you, or all your friends are go, well, if you go pro se up against this bulldog attorney, you're going to get your ass beat. No, you're not. Because it doesn't cost you anything to do the things that you want to do. Your ex is hemorrhaging cash. Who's going to give up first? Yeah. And then you get the text message at 1am that says, Hey, look, I can't keep doing this with you. What do you want? We need to talk this out. And that's our favorite text to get, because then we can have a rational conversation, come up with a deal. All right, I'm going to shut up. You guys have a great week. If you ever want to find me, prosaycoachtx.com. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.